Good morning and welcome to another edition of Hawaii Rotary People of Action. We're so happy that you joined us today right here on Think Tech Hawaii. We have a great show for you today. Our guest is actually live from Kauai, Ed Fagel, and he will join us here momentarily, live from Kauai, learning all about what is happening on Kauai, in Rotary on Kauai. So we'd like to welcome you now, Ted Fagel. Good morning, Janet. How are you today? I'm great. It is so lovely to have you live from Kauai. This is the first time we've, that I've done a remote show, and it's working. So welcome, and we're so happy that you're joining us today. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. I look forward to our conversation. That's fantastic. I like your rotary shirt, too. So what we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to try and help people understand how important rotary is on Kauai. How much you have helped the community and I know that you're the past president and also current um, assistant governor. So you're the perfect person for us to talk to today to learn all about all the wonderful clubs and the people in those clubs on Kauai. I'd like to start out by asking you your rotary story. Tell me please how you got involved with Rotary and why it is one of your passions. So I got involved with Rotary because I relocated to the island of Hawaii about four and a half years ago now. And I was looking for a way to get involved in the community, to um, be able to um, give back to the community, to meet new people on the island. And uh, in talking with some people as a newcomer, they said, oh, maybe you should check out Rotary. They do some great things on Kauai. Uh, so I did. I uh, went and checked out the Rotary Club of Kuipu Beach and felt like that was a really great fit um, for being able to get to know people, get to know the island, and to really be involved in the community and, and to have a positive impact in the local community. Uh, so I joined Rotary four and a half years ago. Uh, this year I'm actually currently serving as president of my club, Rotary Club of Kuipu Beach. Uh, and this uh, next fiscal year, I'll be moving into the role of assistant governor for the island of Hawaii. Fantastic. I had that wrong. I forgot your current president and um, future assistant governor. I um, uh, understand that there are many clubs on Kauai, and they're located from Hanalei to Hanapepe. Give us an idea, a lay of the land, if you will. How many people are involved in Rotary on Kauai? Tell us about some of the clubs, how many there are, and where they're located. Yeah. On Kauai, we have around 200 people currently involved in Rotary. And those 200 people are in around our island. If we start on the North Shore, we have Club of Hanalei Bay, um, who do uh, wonderful a variety of projects. Uh, they were instrumental in kicking off the uh, project island-wide of installing beach rescue tubes all around our island. Uh, the data that we have so far, we know of more than 150 people who have been rescued with those tubes um, over the past few years. And that's just the people that we know about. I think there are even more than that 150. Um, Hanalei also uh, has been very instrumental in Hawaii flood relief in this past year as we had um, really bad flooding on the North Shore uh, about a year ago. And we're still in recovery from that. Hanalei um, has really spearheaded a whole lot of efforts in that area. Um, they also have a wonderful project going on at the Kilauea Agricultural Park um, where they um, done fundraising and built a gazebo. They're um, putting together a, a park within the agri agricultural park, uh, and they're really doing wonderful things in the community. It's a very active club. Um, if we move around towards the, uh, the east shore, uh, we have the Rotary Club of Kaa, uh, and they uh, meet on Wednesdays at lunchtime in the middle of Kaa, and they're also uh, very active in the community. Um, they recently built a wheelchair ramp um, for um, a person in the community um, who found themselves faced with a situation uh, that they couldn't get in and out of their house without that wheelchair ramp. Uh, they also 
uh, do a huge uh, fundraiser every year that's called Taste of Hawaii. That's coming up uh, fairly soon on June 2nd this year. Uh, and that brings in a, a big crowd from all over the island for a fun afternoon of music and food and fellowship. Uh, and that uh, raises funds to support projects throughout the year um, in supporting youth activities, um, supporting nonprofits, et cetera. I'm continuing along the East Shore. Uh, next is the Rotary Club. They meet in Lihue. Um, they meet on Fridays at noon. Uh, they're the original club that was on Kauai. That's, that's their name, Rotary Club of Kauai. Uh, they're also um, involved in numerous projects. Um, for example, they uh, present every year a, a community activity that's called the Lights on Rice Parade. Um, it really is uh, something that our island looks forward to every year. It happens uh, in the December time frame, and it's a, a lot of fun. Um, they've also been involved in cleanup efforts in the Rihue area uh, and um, supporting other nonprofits and activities around the island. Um, they also put together uh, an annual running race, the Old Paloma Mill Sugar Mill Run, um, that brings in um, people from um, the mainland to come and participate and support our community. Um, moving on around to the South Shore, then you come to my home club, which is the Rotary Club of Kuiku Beach. Um, Rotary Club of Kuiku Beach um, is about uh, 38 years old now, and um, we also um, have a number of community projects uh, that we do throughout the year. Uh, in December, we had a kid Christmas party for about 100 children who were um, clients of ch Child and Family Services. Uh, we have a visit from Santa Claus. We have a bento breakfast. Uh, and we show a movie at the Waimea Theater. Uh, it's a whole morning of fun. Uh, and it's uh, really heartwarming. Uh, we had one of our young participants this year, uh, as she was opening her gift from Santa, uh, turned to one of our rotary elves and um, said to them, this is, this is the best day I have ever had. Uh, and so those are the kinds of things that, that really warm your heart and, and keep us uh, um, going to do more and more of those kinds of projects. Uh, we also uh, partner uh, with Hawaii Habitat for Humanity. Habitat for Humanity is actually a global partner of Rotary International. Uh, and on Kauai, one of our community issues is affordable housing. And the Kauai Habitat Organization has been very productive and very instrumental in helping us to address um, that, that issue for our island and to provide more affordable housing for our residents. Uh, so we uh, partnered with them. We did uh, a whole day where we uh, got a big group of Rotarians together and uh, went to the work site and worked on three different houses um, for a day alongside those homeowners. Uh, and it's a great program where homeowners are investing their time and efforts along with volunteers from uh, our Rotary Club as well as other organizations. Uh, we also uh, have been involved in sponsoring and participating in the Hawaii Walk to Prevent Suicide. Uh, it's another um, issue on our island where we have a fairly high rate of suicide. Uh, and so getting out the awareness of uh, what kind of help is available and what are the support systems uh, both to prevent suicide as well as to um, support the survivors of suicide. Um, so those have been a, a few of the, the key projects recently. In addition to those community projects, we have some youth activities, um, which uh, many of our Rotary Clubs around the island do, for example, um, to meet with third graders in the local schools and to um, gift them with a dictionary. And we spend some time with each of those classes to help them look up words in the dictionary, um, understand how to use the dictionary as a resource. Uh, as they're continuing to um, improve their reading skills. 
and then finally, um, moving around the island to West Kauai, uh, the West Kauai Club meets in Waimea on Tuesday evenings at 5.30, and they uh, actually today are sponsoring a rotary track meet for youth on our island. That's an annual project that they do. Um, they've also been involved in uh, planting trees and cleanup efforts at Pope um, Park, and uh, um, also a, a club that's very involved in the local community and um, giving projects back to the community um, with a heavy focus on youth activities. They also um, spearhead for us our what we call Rotary Youth Leadership Awards where we bring high school students together from all over the island. Uh, and we spend a weekend um, camping with them and going through some leadership development um, programs with them as part of their learning and developing, developing as young leaders for our island. Fantastic. My goodness, the Rotary Clubs on Kauai are very busy with all of the different avenues of service uh, that Rotary um, promote helping the youth, helping um, with education, literacy, um, and obviously the, um, the beach projects are phenomenal with over 150 rescues to date. How many lives those um, beach, uh, those rescue tubes have saved um, is just phenomenal. And I understand that it is now started on Kauai and it is growing to other neighbor islands. Um, we'll get back to a few more questions later about specific community projects. But right now, Ted, we're going to shift into um, a little bit more about what a Rotarian can expect at when they attend a Rotary Club and also what the role of president is. You're currently the president of your club in Poipu. And if people out there are watching and they want to get more information about joining Rotary on Kauai, how do they go about that? Uh, what would you recommend uh, they do to get in touch with you, as well as what can they expect when they walk into their very first Rotary meeting? Sure. Uh, getting involved in uh, Rotary really happens at the individual club level, and so it's uh, good if you're if you have an interest in Rotary to look at what are the clubs in your area. Um, that might be doing things that you're interested in participating in. And then uh, to reach out um, to us, uh, you could go to rotaryinhawaii.org uh, and put in your interest, and you'd be connected with a Rotary Club um, in Hawaii in your area. Or um, on Kauai, uh, you could do a Google search on Rotary Kauai, and on that first page of Google search results, you will find the um, results for the five different Rotary Clubs. Uh, and you can see uh, from the different websites what are some of the projects that we're doing, what are the meeting times, uh, and see ones that you might be interested to learn more about. Um, it's easy to either call or email us um, with the contact information that you'll find there. And uh, you will get a response very quickly. Uh, from one of us uh, to follow up and invite you uh, to come to a project with us or to come to one of our regular uh, meetings um, to begin to get a sense of what it is we do and who are the people involved in that club and, and whether that's a good fit um, for you and what you'd like to uh, accomplish in the community and, and, and give back to the community as well. Fantastic. Uh, when, uh, Fantastic. Yeah. We um, do need to prepare to go for a little break. I definitely want you, Ted, to share with us that email address or that website address for your club so people can easily reach you or the phone number even. So we're going to take a short break, um, pay the bills, and we'll be right back to learn, right back live from Kauai with Ted Fagel, uh, Rotary Club president of Poipu Beach, to learn more about all about Rotary on Kauai. Aloha, I'm Yukari Kunisue, the host of Konnichiwa Hawaii, Japanese talk show on ThinkTech Hawaii. Konnichiwa Hawaii is all Japanese broadcast show, and it's streamed live on ThinkTech at 2 p.m. every other Monday. Thank you so much for watching our show. 
We look forward to seeing you then. I'm Yukari Kunise. Mahalo. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dave Stevens, host of the Cyber Underground. This is where we discuss everything that relates to computers that's going to scare you out of your mind. So come join us every week here on thinktechhawaii.com, 1 p.m. on Friday afternoons. And then you can go see all our episodes on YouTube. Just look up the Cyber Underground on YouTube. All our shows will show up. And please follow us. We're always giving you current, relevant information to protect you, keeping you safe. Aloha. Welcome back to Rotary in Hawaii. We're happy to have you here today. We are live from Kauai with Club President Ted Fagel from Poipu. Live. Welcome back, Ted. Thanks. So we're going to dive into a little bit more. We, we've learned a lot about the projects that are happening all over the island of Kauai, the wonderful service projects that your members, your 200 members, um, are participating on, in on a regular basis. Some are happening today. Um, what we're going to learn about more is some leadership opportunities. I, for one, have enjoyed the networking aspect of Rotary. And I know that as a business professional, um, getting to know people in the community can be a huge benefit to your business and growing a business. So please tell us about the leadership opportunities. For instance, in your club, you're the club president. How did you ascend to the presidency? How does one get involved? in leadership positions in a Rotary Club such as yours? Yeah, that's a great point. People join Rotary for a variety of reasons. Um, that's often for making friends and having fellowship. Um, it's also for working on projects and having an impact in the local community. Um, some people join Rotary for the business networking, which is an important aspect of Rotary. Um, Rotary started as a group of business people um, who did meet with each other and um, under, learn about each other's professions, and then that led to doing business with each other. Um, and some people also joined Rotary to have an in, because um, as individual clubs, we do network, collaborate with other clubs all around the world um, to have even larger significant impact on projects. And, and so any of those reasons are valid reasons for being interested in or joining Rotary. Uh, and different people have different priorities around those reasons. But those are all um, pretty common reasons why people say, oh, yeah, I enjoy Rotary because of one of those. Uh, and people stay in Rotary for those, those same kinds of reasons. Uh, and I know, uh, personally, I've experienced um, for my um, small business on Kauai, being part of Rotary and the networking, um, both with my own club members as well as uh, members of other clubs around the island, uh, has had a positive impact on my business, uh, both from business development aspect, um, but also word of mouth and networking. Uh, and and in uh, Rotary, one of the things that we stand for is high ethical standards in business. And I, I personally have found uh, that, that that's been very valuable um, for people to know that I'm part of Rotary and that that's part of what I stand for. Uh, and that's made it very attractive for people to talk to me about their business needs and, and to pursue with me um, whether I might be of some assistance. And I hear similar stories from other Rotarians on our island as well as um, across the way. Yeah. Uh, so it's a great opportunity to, to, to do that kind of broad networking with people. That is, that is very, point, very, very important. Um, Rotarians across Hawaii um, enjoy reciting, actually, the four-way test. Um, is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Is it fair to, you know... Uh, will it, uh, what's the fourth one? <laughs> I don't have it in front of me. It'll be beneficial to all concerned. Will it be beneficial to all concerned? Thank you. I've only been in Rotary 12 years, so forgive me. This four-way test is 
something that Rotarians actually live by. Those of us in business can feel very comfortable contacting another Rotarian because we have those plaques on our walls and we recite those at every meeting. Um, not in a cult style, in a collaborative style that we all believe in these values of Rotary that we've learned, that we've honed, if you will, in Rotary by doing business with each other. And as Rotarians, I can also say we get the best service, give the best service to each other because we see each other every single week. And so it's really a great opportunity when you're in Rotary to connect with those vendors, those clients, those business associates to further um, succeed in business. Um, also, let's talk about uh, leadership roles. In Rotary, yeah. uh, when I joined, I became the public relations chair. There is any number of 10 to 20 leadership positions. Can you just name off a few that your club, um, either that you have fulfilled um, as a volunteer in your club, or leadership positions that need to be filled in every Rotary club? such as public relations chair, president, et cetera. Right. Well, like you, Janet, I actually was very early on in my club to take on the public relations or public image chairperson role. Um, so I actually served in that role for three years in my club, as well as participating in many projects and fundraisers of the club. Uh, and it was uh, at the end of that three years that um, I, I finally consented to move in to the president role. I'd been asked uh, a couple of times before that. Um, so there's always opportunity to move into leadership roles. Um, besides the, the president of the club, uh, we have other club officers like vice president, secretary, treasurer. And then we have uh, uh, avenues of service chair people. So in Rotary, Rotary, we focus on different types of service, both in the community and internationally. So we have a chairperson for community service, a chairperson for youth services, a chairperson for international service, uh, and those, uh, and, and also a chairperson for vocational service. I'm um, going back to our, our roots and our discussion about being a, a group of business people who originally got together um, to form Rotary. Exactly. So there's opportunity to step into any of those roles. Um, we also have a membership chairperson um, who helps organize and lead us to um, recruit new members into Rotary. Uh, and we also, uh, in Rotary, Rotary, we have uh, this tremendous resource that is called the Rotary Foundation. And Rotarians all around the world uh, make contributions, donations to the Rotary Foundation. Uh, and those donations are, are then aggregated and given back to individual clubs um, to execute projects um, in their country, in their um, region, um, in their community. Right. And uh, it's uh, it's really a, a huge asset to Rotary that we're able to not only collaborate with our time, um, but also with our donations and to really um, increase our impact by collaborating together. Exactly. And we just are enjoying a lot of the uh, photographs you shared with us from your different clubs across the island, Ted. These um, pictures are different community service projects. We saw the rescue tube. Um, there's a lot of um, work outdoors, uh, possibly Habitat for Humanity. Let's learn a little bit more about your club and its specific community grant program. Can you elaborate on what that is for us? Yeah. So our club, besides our service project, we're also involved in uh, scholarship, and then a community grants program. And our community grants program is uh, looking at how do we impact the community by partnering with other nonprofit organizations so that we can uh, have a positive impact on community issues above and beyond what we could do by ourselves. So uh, out of our fundraising each year, we allocate a certain amount that we then invite nonprofits from around Kauai uh, to apply for a, a sort of mini grant um, to partner with us for a specific 
specific project. Uh, many of those projects are things like um, after school activities for young people or uh, uh, hunger programs like a, a lunch program or a food pantry program. So it's a way of uh, partnering with nonprofits to extend our reach and be able to provide services in the community um, by working together. Um, in addition to those community grants that we do, uh, we also um, provide a number of scholarships. And our focus is primarily on Kauai Community College. So we uh, partner with the college, and uh, we focus in three different areas. Uh, we have a, quite a long history of providing scholarships for the nursing program at Kauai Community College. Uh, as well as for the culinary arts program. Uh, so helping young people on our island get the skills um, to go into the workforce around our island. And then um, we added last year a set of scholarships for the skilled trades program. So um, young people who want to become auto mechanics or plumbers or electronics technicians, um, that they also have the resources to get the edge and the skills um, to go into those professions as well. That's phenomenal. The work that the Rotary Clubs on Kauai are accomplishing is extending throughout the entire community. Really quickly, we have a few seconds left. Ted, where and when do you meet? So the Rotary Club of Quaker Beach, my home club, uh, meets on Wednesday morning on the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th morning at 7.15 a.m. That's at the Cabana Bar and Grill at Wipu Beach Athletic Club. On the first week of the month, we, instead of having a breakfast meeting, have an after-work Kalhana activity, a social hour um, that happens on Thursday at 5.30. Uh, and then we have a fifth Wednesday in the month, in the month we actually go off the Fantastic. for a vocational school. It's been wonderful getting to know all about the Rotary Clubs on Kauai. You're the Perfect ambassador to share that with us today. Good luck with the rest of your Rotary year. And we'll be seeing you at our district conference in a couple of months right here at the Convention Center. Mahalo for joining us today. Ted Fagel, club president of Rotary Club of Poipu Beach, has been a wealth of information. Check them out online for more information. Thank you again for joining us today on Think Tech Hawaii. It's been my pleasure. Janet Sheffer, Rotary. People of Action signing out. Mahalo.